All right, so today I'm going to show you how to create an auto clicker, and you can use this for several things. Uh, obviously, this is a RuneScape series, so I'm going to show you why you would use it. Uh, you can use it for several things. Uh, anything that just requires a click and uh, it requires you not moving. I have heard, I haven't used it, but I've heard, I haven't used it for this, which is thieving. I've heard that you can use it for thieving. I've used it for, for high alking, and I've got to uh, level uh, 95. And. Um, so far so we'll see how far it goes from uh, 50 whatever it is to 95 just straight up and I don't like I said I don't really play RuneScape but I do like botting and uh, having it play for me um, okay so here we go I'm gonna show you how it works so the first thing there's there's a few ways to do it I'm gonna show you how to do it with the auto hotkey and maybe I'll talk about how to do it with Python if, if uh, you uh, like Python better okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to download the auto hotkey language I don't know if you have to download both of these I Originally, I downloaded this one because I, uh, which is the actual language, uh, because I was doing something else with it. But uh, okay, so you download it here. I'll, I'll post the links, and then you, this is the text editor uh, that I use. Uh, you download that there, and I'll try to post both of these sites on the video. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, well, you want to open up the text editor, which is SCI. And then I already have, as you can see, I already have my auto clicker here. You can just go ahead and copy this if you want, if you don't really care. Uh, I don't really care if you do so. Um, the way that it works is a little bit, if you, if you know programming, you can already tell what's going on here, but uh, I'm not an expert at it. I just kind of have to learn a little bit, just enough so I could use it. Uh, is you have your keyword loop, which basically just repeats whatever is in, is in the brackets. And then after the comma is how many times you want this loop to repeat. Okay, so. Uh, if you have uh, 5,000 items, then you want to repeat 10,000 times if you're hacking, right? Because you're going to click twice for each item. Okay? So uh, I'm just going to keep it at 1,000. And then inside is your logic. Now, my logic is just click and then sleep. So after it clicks, you want to sleep for a, for a certain amount of time so that you look like you're an actual real person, right? If you are uh, not sleeping, then uh, obviously you, you, you're 100% a bot. Uh, from what I've seen, you want to do at least 992. Any faster than that, you might be clicking a little too fast. And then at least, uh, from what I've seen, you want to keep it around 2900. I think you could probably go lower, but I don't know. This is what I think it's, uh, is uh, realistic and doesn't make you look like a bot. Personally, I like to keep it between 3500 and uh, 5000. Um, and that's worked for me. It got me to 90, uh, level 90 something so far. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, you, this is uh, because of this, the auto, auto, uh, the hotkey language, auto hotkey, you can actually do a lot of things. You can actually code it to move the mouse and click different uh, keys and stuff, but uh, uh, I'm not going to go over that. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like learning a whole language just to do that. Um, okay, and here, uh, this right here is my function that I called, which is the random function. Uh, so it randomly picks a value between 992 and then 5,000 so that you look more realistic, right? So you click, maybe this, the random number will be uh, 1,000. So then you click, you wait 1,000 seconds. And then maybe you, you click again, and then maybe next time it's 2,000. You know, so it looks more human-like uh, if you click in randomly. So that's why I think it's better than the uh, regular auto clickers where they just repeat the same thing. So they'll click every half a second, no matter what. That's just, that just seems very bot-like. All right, and here's the random function, just in case you're interested. There's the minimum value, the maximum value, and this is kind of the syntax uh, that you use, min, max, ran. Um, like I said, you don't really have to memorize or learn this whole language unless you're really interested. I think it's kind of interesting, but uh, here uh, for the bottom, uh, the reason you would need this is, as you can see here in the comments, is uh, you can escape uh, because this thing won't stop unless it goes through the whole loop. So, but if you have this keyword here, ask, and you can exit the app. You can actually uh, pause it, uh, as you can see here, and you can suspend it and reload it. So that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and just see it in action. I'm not going to log into my account because I don't think it's necessary. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. Okay, so here I clicked it. You're going to see you're going to see it click. See how it clicks? So you got to wait between one and some, some however many seconds. So that was more like three seconds there. Let's see if it clicks again. Uh, that was about three seconds. That was about two seconds. 
see how long it clicks. That was about almost five seconds, unless I missed it. There you go. Now I'm gonna put, I'm not clicking by the way, I'm just moving the mouse so that you can see different things, uh, how it clicks. I'm gonna move it right here. So as you can see, it clicks on itself. Uh, you can make it click faster uh, if we wanna just for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna click ESC or ESC, that way you can, um, uh, and, and if I have mine saved out here, so I can just double click it and it starts. I'm gonna click S to end. Uh, you can actually edit it, it's a lot easier. Uh, let's do it faster. Let's do it between 300 and 400. So that, that way you guys can see how fast it kind of clicks. So now I double, uh, double click, ah oh, shoot, that's oh, not where to go. Right here. See, as you can see, it's kind of clicking like nuts. It's clicking like crazy. So uh, anyway, so I'm gonna, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, I'll probably do another video how to do it with Python maybe. Um, yeah. 